today I'm going to show you how to mod Team Fortress 2 using the alias system. Yes, and that's the way to get more, um, well, buttons on your uh, controller. So you can put in extra commands. So yes, start up uh, the Explorer 360. Run as administrator. Yes. And I'm sorry about the subtitle. It's in Swedish. Drive. Open. Hard drive. Then go to partition 3. And then content. And then E000AA thingy. And then you go to. Um, yeah, this one. Too many slumbers. So, when you go to this and then just drag out the U settings and just minimize it. So now when you get use settings you just open Valve Editor. I got version 2. Run as administrators as usual and yes. Then you go into use settings. Yes, open that one. Just, yeah, there we go. So the first thing, thing that we're going to do is uh, choose the button that we want to uh, well have as use as a mod so I'm just gonna use the bind back button and then I'm going to delete this okay first of all remember to put the plus before any name so I'm just gonna have it called mod 1 you can choose any name if you want to so yes then you just hit from here, you go right up there and copy. I'm just gonna do some enter. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do is to just uh, delete all of these signs. Just like this. And then go like that. Delete that one, then you just make this sign and the space. Yeah, and just keep going on with all these. Yeah. You can just do this on all the way. So now when you've done all of that, yeah, wait, just remember to put that one there, and here you just write alias restore space and that one. Okay, so now we're just going to space there, alias minus mod 1 so that's the name that we of the mod we made yeah it's like that but we want to make a minus instead of a plus and just do that re store there we go alias plus mod 1 and now we're going to bind some buttons so just start by binding the A button and if you're an Xbox 360 gamer, you should know where the A button is. So yes, and and then when you bind bind a A button, just a I'm gonna just name it A B one or anything A B two A B three I don't know really. I'm gonna choose A one. You can choose any name actually. Do this one space. Then uh, just keep on doing as many as you want to bind any many buttons as you want to. Bind B button. BB1. Okay. And just keep on doing that. So, yeah. And just make that little sign over there. 
and here you're just gonna well you're gonna start making commands alias and then the name of the the button you bind so you see here if you want it to any an um, command on the a button you take this name that you have chosen to um, use so now wait a b one space and there we go so now you can just start writing some commands so I'm just gonna sv cheat space one this um, enables the sheets uh, if you ca if you press a zero it disable the sheets on your server so one for the enabling the sheets and zero for disabling yes so now yeah you can just write in uh, no clip this is mo probably the most used uh, command that uh, well because it makes you fly through walls and uh, wherever you want to on the map. So just keep on binding BB1 um, let's see here you don't have to have uh, SV sheets on every command you just have to have uh, SV sheets on any commands so you can at least uh, start it so I'm just gonna SV gravity 100 that makes the gravity on your server really low alias XB1 SV gravity 800 that's the default gravity on your server like that and then alias alias YB1 wait no space and then I'm just gonna make a hurt me nine 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 nine. I think that's the right command. It might it might not work. And this will make uh, you uh, well almost invincible. You get it, you almost get the full invisibility, but it's you can die by backstabs and such. So yeah. And then just save. Remember to save. It's rehashed and resigned, so you don't have to rehash and resign it. Um, just minimize it if you want to. Now you're just going to open up the Explorer 360. Right click, insert file. And then just choose the file you just modded. Open. Um, yes, I want to do that. Injecting files. And that's about it. It's drum and bass. What you gonna do?